Welcome back to another video. Now, it's a product review, but we're having to do it outside because we are rebuilding our studio because we're going to build a bigger and better one to improve the content. So we've had to wait for a sunny day. We've got one and we're going to get this done now. This is the Hypervolt Home 3 Pro Charger. Now, we've got some new updates to cover on this product because there's lots of content around it when it came out about a year ago but Hypervolt have been developing it, releasing new features, and some of them are really, really important if you want to save money. So this video covers all of those benefits along with a review of the product. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is unbox the product because we've actually not taken a look at this yet. This is actually a demo unit that Hypervolt have sent to us because we're doing a show later on in the month. So we don't actually know what's different about this version to the full fat one, but we're still going to cover all of the specs. So the first thing that's in this box is the template for the actual wall bracket. This is the front cover. Now you can get these in a range of colors. All of them have this LED and the LED is programmable. It also is like a status indicator. So you've got green working, red, fall, amber, warning. You can have Christmas tree lights setting on it. But if you want a different color for the front of your Hypervolt, you can order that at the time when you order your actual unit. But if you decide later on that you're gonna change it, it's easy to do and it's DIY because there are no cables. When you unhook this from the front, this section here, are the electrical connections so you don't have to have any wiring skills you don't have to be unplugging plugging things in it's just a contactor essentially that sits against two pads and that's what makes the electrical connection so you can change this later on if you want to just before we move on there is a foam gasket here this is all to do with the weather rating of the product but we're going to get to that later on in the video Right, so this is the actual charger. This is what sits beneath or behind rather that fancy cover. Now, it's a pretty cool design this. It's plastic injection molded. It's made in the UK. But as you can see on this actual case, it's got lots of little fins and these are all designed to dissipate heat. Chargers get hot. It's seven kilowatts traveling through this into your EV. And if that's on for a prolonged time, even if it's like a sunny day or anything like that, chargers get really hot. You've got seven kilowatts of continuous load going into an EV. So on a sunny day, or even just the convection from the components working inside can cause the units to get really, really hot. So to manage that, we have essentially a heat sink. On top of this, built into the unit, Hypervolt have little sensors that sit around the various parts of the case and they measure the different temperatures to make sure that if the unit gets too hot, it can ramp down to keep it cool. And as it cools down, it will increase the temperature again. There is lots of banging going on in the background and we're trying to do cuts in between them hitting the wall, but we've given up, so sorry, it's there. Now the unit itself is also fully weather rated. Obviously these things live outside and what you don't want is connections getting wet, causing a fault, because that's a real big issue on chargers. Now, Hypervolt have taken weather rating to the next level. There's his IP66. It's basically submergible. You can get this absolutely soaked. You can jet wash it, and it's not going to allow any water into the internals or the components. So you're not going to have any risk of this getting wet. Now, on top of the actual weather rating, it's also impact resistant. It's got an IK10 impact resistance. You can basically hit this with a cricket bat and it's gonna be okay. In fact, someone did do that. There is a YouTube channel called EV Nick, it's well worth checking him out, where he put one of these to the test by whacking it with a cricket bat and it stood the test. So impact ratings are really, really important. When you've got the charging lead and you've got the actual charging connector, that is a pretty heavy bit of kit. If you whack your charger, you do not want to split it and have to buy another one. At Christmas, it's really cool. You can put a Christmas tree light setting on it. Yeah, so you drive past and you've got like little blue, green, red lights like flashing away. Now, if you order a Hypervolt and it turns up with a plug on the end, they have sent you a demo unit. So make sure you send that back. You wouldn't get this as standard. This is just so we can plug it in and we can activate the lights when we're at our show. Anyway, how you would wire this unit 
is you've got various access points, different termination places, you've got rear entry, you've got bottom entry, because obviously you need to power this from your consumer unit. You need to give it a suitable size cable, depending on the run. You also need to supply a data cable for something called a CT clamp. We're gonna get onto that in a second. Now, what will be pre-wired to your Hypervolt is this. This is a tethered connection lead. So this is essentially the cable that runs from the charger to your EV, but there are three options and it's all to do with the length of the cable. So the standard one is five meters of cable. The middle one is seven and a half and the range topper is 10 meters. Now where this is important is where your charge is going to be located, where you park your car and also how far or whereabouts on the car the actual charging point is. So something like a Tesla is on the rear. So if you drive that car in nose first and your charge is halfway down your wall, you're gonna to wanna to check which cable you need. Now, it's not the end of the world if you buy the five meter cable at the start, you change your car and you need to change the cable. Hypervolt sell these as accessories, although you will need an electrician to take it apart to swap the cables over, but it's only a quick sort of 30 minute job, so it shouldn't cost too much money. Now there are some other accessories that you might want to consider when you're planning your Hypervolt charger installation. And one of those is this, this is the stand. So you can get this in this finish, this is the all black, the gloss black version, but they also do a stainless steel version. Now, this is a pretty good bit of kit because it's designed specifically for Hypervolt. It's made by Hypervolt. It's like a third party component. And therefore, everything is designed to work out of the box. They even supply you with the anchors to fit it into the ground. You've got a holster mount on the side here. And these holes for the charger post are in the exact place you need them to secure it onto the back. Lots of people buy standard universal posts for chargers, but it's a pain in the backside trying to get them to line up and fit. Just buy the original part and you'll have no issues. If you're enjoying this review, then you can find plenty more on the Heatable YouTube channel. And also give us a like and a follow on our socials where we have regular posts about new products, new prices, new offers. Thanks. So this is what the charger would look like on the post if you had it on a post. Apart from, I haven't fitted the holster because I've not got a spanner and I can't have bothered going and get one, but here's what it would look like. Anyway, let's take the cover off. What I'm gonna do now is show you the insides of this unit. We've just checked and even though it's a demo unit, it's still got all the components that's needed to power the charger. So cover comes off nice and easy. Here's our impact resistant case, and you essentially just take these screws off, like Blue Peter, I've already took most of them off. And this is the inside of the unit. So if you come over here, I'll take you through the various components. So the inside of here is really what sets Hypervolt apart from the rest of the market. Most chargers are essentially glorified sockets. Hypervolt is different. Let's talk you through the various components and what they do. So. We have our AC lead coming in and that goes into these terminals here. This energy is then measured, processed and sent back out via this out lead here. Now, you also have a CT clamp around the live and the neutral going to the car. And the reason for that is to monitor the amount of power that is being sent to the car because Hypervolt is a dynamic device. If your home load starts to rise because you have the oven on, you've got a hot tub running, whatever else, what Hypervolt will do is make sure that we don't go over the maximum fuse limit for the property. And it does this by reading power going out to the car here, and it can ramp it down using its own electronics to make sure you're not gonna be blowing any fuses. On this side here, you've got your comms. So this has two options for connectivity. You've got a hardwired LAN connection. This is the preference if it's doable. It's not always straightforward to get an ethernet cable from your router all the way to your car charger. So as a backup, it's got built-in Wi-Fi. Now the purpose of the Wi-Fi is so you can connect to Hypervolt's smart app to control your device. But also Hypervolt has something called grid services built in. They can communicate with various smart tariffs to ramp up, ramp down, depending on what the grid is doing. This gives you access to some unique low cost energy tariffs because their equipment is so advanced and so smart, it can do it and you can save even more money from charging your EV. So you don't want that in shot? This one. Can do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shh.
Okay, now I wanna talk about CT clamps. It's not gonna to get too boring, so just bear with me. But essentially, a CT clamp is a current transformer and what this does is measure power going through a cable in one direction or sometimes multi-directional. Now why it's important for car chargers is when you install a hypervolt you get one of these in the box and what this does is come round your main live coming into your property so it knows what the house is doing, how much load is going into the property. Now the benefit of this is it's bi-directional so it can also see export and why that is important is because if you have solar on your property then what this will do is any energy that goes back to the grid you can set your hypervolt in one of the modes to activate with export to charge your ev so to prevent energy going back to the grid you can automatically send it from your solar panels into your ev now just a bit of advice here if you are on an export rate of like 15 pence, which is pretty common now with most providers, but your EV buying rate is seven pence, I personally wouldn't advise to do this unless you're an eco green warrior because you're gonna charge your EV with energy that you could buy for seven pence instead with energy that you could sell for 15 pence. So avoid it unless you're a green warrior. Anyway, there is another option that's come out since the launch of this product to do with CTs, and it's to do with home storage batteries. Because what you don't want to happen is your home battery, which has been charged up, either from solar or off the grid, depletes into your EV. Now, this happens because EV chargers just sense a load from an EV, and they pull that load from the property. Your battery sees a load it wants to supply and therefore provides battery power to the EV, but we wanna stop that. Now, this only works on AC coupled solutions. So you've got hybrid batteries and you've got AC coupled batteries. If you have an AC coupled battery, you can fit one of these, it's called Battery Protect. And what it will do is when the charger is active, it will stop the battery from depleting. So it will keep your battery to power your home and not your EV. Now what's also great with Hypervolt is all these features can be managed in one place via their app. When it comes to home charging apps, I think this is the best one on the market. It's certainly the best one that I've ever used. And what's great about it is if you have the Solar CT active, if you have Battery Protect, if you have your EV plugged in, you can see everything that's going on in your home. It will also give you data on your home's energy consumption. So not just related to the charger, it's how much energy are you pulling right now? And this is really useful to prevent wastage. You might have things turned on in the background that you're not aware of. You might just be surprised how much energy you are actually using. As well in the app, what you can do is view your previous charge history. And if you pair it to your tariff, you can also see how much each of these sessions has cost. And on the subject of tariffs, what's really cool about Hypervolt is they have integrated with all of the latest dynamic real-time tariffs from the likes of Octopus, EDF, OVO, and this gives you access to grid services. Something like the EDF scheme allows your Hypervolt to work to protect and keep the grid in balance. And as a reward for this, they give you super cheap EV charging. Something like OVO's tariff, charge anytime, gives you fixed rate at seven pence, as long as you are connected to one of these Hypervolt chargers. And Octopus have the Agile tariff. This is half hourly metered energy. So you can ensure that your charger only purchases energy at the cheapest possible rate. Because Hypervolt's cloud system, their software is so powerful and so smart, the energy providers have paired with them to give you the best rates. So let's wrap up this review by covering some of the key technical features of this product. So let's start with the power. It's 7.4 kilowatts, which is sort of the maximum power you can have on a single phase supply. Now, when it comes to cost of the product, you're going to pay around £700 for one of these units, but you will spend more if you want a post or you want one of the longer leads. Now, this is pretty competitive given the amount of tech inside this unit. A standard cheap charger is probably £550 and some of the charges go up to almost £2,000. So this sits in a real sweet spot when it comes to benefit and 
cost. Now to have one installed by someone who knows what they're doing, you're gonna pay about 12 or 1300 pounds. And you've also got warranty protection when you use approved installers. So your standard warranty is three years, but if you use an approved installer, you can upgrade this to five years for just a hundred pounds. Now that is well worth it. When you think of the cost of the unit, the cost of getting someone out to change it, for an extra two years warranty, personally for me, I would go for it. So there you have it, a full review of the Hypervolt Home 3 Pro with all of its latest features. Now, in my opinion, this is the best EV charger you can put your hands on today when it comes to price, when it comes to features, and the ability to access those low rates from those energy suppliers, it's really tough to beat Hypervolt's offering. Now we love this product so much that we're actually launching an online EV journey where you can go on, you can get a fixed price to have an EV charger fitted in your home. And if you fancy a Hypervolt, then you're gonna find those listed on there. So to get your price, head over to the Heatable website, click on chargers, and you can order your brand new EV to be installed within four weeks at your home.